Kids New Spring, my name is Willem and today we're going to be talking about tsunamis. This past week Alaska had a bit of a scare. Ah! There was a 7.9 magnitude earthquake off the coast and it was only 15 miles deep. An earthquake can occur anywhere from 0 to 700 miles deep in the earth. When you think about that, the Alaska earthquake was really close to the surface. When the earth shifts in the ocean, it has the ability to displace a huge amount of water. This sends the water rippling in all directions. Out in the ocean, you might not notice a lot of movement. It's when it gets to shore. When the ocean floor gets really shallow, that's when the waves get bigger and a lot more noticeable. If you drop a pebble in water and water ripple outwards, that is how a tsunami travels. Even though the earthquake happened off the coast of Alaska, people on the coast of Canada and south in the states were warned of the possible danger of the tsunami. These waves are so powerful, they have been known to travel all the way across the ocean. Luckily, the earthquake in Alaska didn't trigger any big tsunamis, but there were up to 61 aftershocks. Those are smaller earthquakes that follow the first one. While we look for high ground, here's Nelly with the weather. We're gonna get soaked! Thank you, Nelly. Here is one of the best warning signs of a tsunami. When you are relaxing on a beach or on the coastline, when the water goes out to sea very quickly, places that are usually covered in water will seem to drain like somebody has pulled the plug. People should head away from the water to high ground if they ever see this happen. The best way anyone could prepare for something like a tsunami or any other nasty thing Mother Nature throws at them is to educate yourself on what you're looking for and what to do if something happens in your area. In the section below, we have put a link to the Canadian Emergency Preparedness website. We would suggest to sit down with your family and go over this site. Then you will be ready for anything. Does your family have an emergency plan in place? Let me know some tips in the comments down below. To watch this video in French, click here. To learn something a little different, click here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.